Hi guys, welcome to Find Beauty Bible Season 2. Last season we talked about the process of how you can start your laser hair removal journey. I got so many DMs about people responding well to it and you guys love that you finally had all the answers to all the questions that I have ever received about laser hair removal. The last time I gave you all of the information, how to make your first appointment, what type of care you have to do before, what type of care you have to do afterwards. Um, but for this one, I just wanted to take you guys with me. So I thought I would make a very short follow-up vlog of what it is actually like at a laser hair removal appointment. Once you get the hang of your appointments, the process is very, very simple. So first things first, the night before your appointment, you make sure you shave the areas that you're getting treated. So I would shave my underarms, I would use a face razor to shave my upper lip. If there's anything there, usually there's not. The next thing would be make sure you shower the day of, obviously, and then you head to your appointment. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's head to my appointment. Went inside, did all three areas in about 15 minutes, and then whew, done. Okay, so I just got here from my appointment. I'm parked really, really bad, so I hope it is super quick. Um, and then I'll come back out. <laughs> How did that feel? Pretty good. Okay. So just to pause for a second, the green dot that you're seeing on my skin, that is itself is not the laser. That is just a light that lets the laser nurse know which part of your skin the laser's on at the moment so that they know, you know, how to guide it along your skin. The flashes of light that you're seeing, that's the laser. That's the infrared light that is actually going to burn the hair follicle. Okay, go to the middle. And you're all done. So as you can see in the video, there's that little cool air blowing. I don't know if you can hear that loudness behind the camera, but that is the air, that puff of air that I was telling you about that feels like wonderful relief as the laser is doing its magic. Um, so yes, that's what you're hearing. And as you can see, I'm not moving around any crazy, anything crazy. I'm not squirming on the table. I'm not screaming literally was just chilling there and it is as fast as this video i did not speed up the video this is not a cropped segment that is actually how long it took to do one underarm and my upper lip Okay, so I went inside, filled out my forms, took my temperature, waited for about two minutes, set the date of my next appointment, did my appointment, came back out, paid and added tip, and I'm already back in the car. And it's 1028. That's how fast it is. And I had did three areas of my body. And that's it. You go home, you exfoliate. As the hair start to shed, you'll notice you feel more hairless, and then you just wait it out till your next appointment. Easy peasy, one, two, three. I will show you the hair growth that I have the past seven months. But before you critique me, think about how much hair you grow under your underarm in seven months, okay? See? Not that bad, right? Not what you were expecting. I feel like before laser hair reduction, I could grow this amount in a week. Honestly, like, you see this hair on my head? It comes with a price. My hair grows fast like this everywhere on my body. So this, after seven months, is impressive. <laughs> so you guys let me know if this is something that you're interested in. It does what it promises. It reduces. It really does. I'm telling you, it was the best money I ever spent. Now that I've finished my six sessions that came in my package, I'm trying to figure out if I want to rebuy another six session package at the same place that I went to, or if I want to find another new client special at a separate laser spa and just go there instead so that I get, you know, another good deal, that same good deal that I got at said laser. So I'm still deciding. I don't know, what do you guys think I should do? Do you think I should continue going where I've been going and I like the results, or should I just try somewhere new simply for the sake of getting a good price? 
I'm not against either one, to be honest. And I also won't judge anyone else for whatever they choose to do. I'm, to be honest, I'm kind of leaning towards trying a new place. It benefits me because I will not be paying as much for all three areas that I have service. And it would benefit you guys because I would be able to tell you whether or not I either recommend or don't recommend a whole new place. So it'll kind of give some range to my laser hair removal journey, right? right like as a beauty influencer shouldn't i want to try a new place especially if it's also saving me money let me know what y'all think because i know some people are like oh no girl once i find someone i'm sticking there i'm not playing around um what would you guys do what would you do i hope seeing this in motion helps you figure out whether or not you're really ready to try it um i 10 out of 10 would recommend it and i haven't really met anyone who's gotten laser hair reduction that wouldn't recommend it to others so Definitely worth the money if you're willing to invest in those Groupon specials that I told you about. And um, yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend. Best money I have spent in 2020. And I hope that this helped you out. I will see you next month for another season of Fine Beauty Bible and next week for an episode of Brit's Recent Beauty.